Greetings! Stay a while and listen to me, Marauder EX, as we play more Super Mario RPG. So we got a new weapon, and I don't want to use any of those, so we, we go in through here. It is through here. We've got the Koopa Shell, which in the original game was called the Knock Knock Shell. So that's a thing. We've got Fireball, and he's got three abilities. We learned the next one at level six, so we'll, we'll get that one next level and so we just finished Midas River we are going to the next little bit here which will be um Tadpole Pond won't it yeah Tadpole Pond all right so we go step on the rock and a tadpole comes up and talks to us Mallow it's you we've heard about all about your adventures with Super Mario. I love how they refer to him as Super. You guys be... How did you hear about that? The waterways of the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. Ha ha. That kind of rhymes. You're really the Super Mario? Oh god, so many of them just pop up. He's the real thing, but he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. If you say he can jump better than a frog, I wonder if it's only a rumor. <laughs> Worship me! I am a, I'm one of the only humans in this world. Like, that's, that's the best part. Okay, so... We get to go meet his... Grandfather, which is going to raise a couple of questions. Like, this is one of those weird bits. So. And th this is this is really one of the bits that just kind of, again. You're supposed to make it look like I'm floating. <laughs> Do we not hear him? You are Mario, yes? I am the Frog Sage. You've come to seek wisdom for me, have you not? He looks different, in, I, and I get that because of the new, like, they can do a little bit more with the 3D models than they could with the, the 2D. He looked a little weird with the 2D model. He didn't... He didn't look like he had movable legs. So... And now we can hop across the tadpoles. And we're gonna go talk to Frog Fuchsius. See, he looked more like that, just permanently. Come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. That smoothie character that appeared at Bowser's Keep, he's quite formidable, yes? Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But oh, if you only knew the truth, Peach is no longer there. What? Just one tadpole just kind of wandering by. <laughs> and I love how the music kind of just quiets and it's like... You were rescuing Peach from Bowser's Keep. After defeating him, just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash and saw huge swords split the sky. And he reenacts that for us. The shock sent the three of you fly. Bowser and Peach are still off somewhere out there. Now. I also love that he didn't spill his tea by jumping on his table like that. His underlings are wreaking havoc in our world. Clay Morton, whom you defeated the Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. We found a star in the Mushroom Kingdom castle. Do you know what it was? No, I have no idea. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. Now more than ever, I believe they will play a vital role in the fight against Smithy. Is that too much to absorb? Uh, no, I'm, I'm good. Shooting stars, magic, smithy, bad guy, Princess Peach, missing. That's, that's kind of the long and short of it, right? Everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Clay Morton was the, only the first of many. The first of many. Mo, well, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You accompany Mario on his adventure too. What are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Look at this little frog walk. Molly, my boy, I've kept this from you until now, but your 
Not a tadpole. <laughs> I love how every, even the Lockatoo is like, what? <laughs> like, no one could. He's, I'm sitting here one rainy day enjoying a snack of crickets, and I happen to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Malo was written on his belt. I felt so sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him to raise as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic, and I knew it was more than a piece of fluff. That surely this child must be from, from some far off land. I'm not a tadpole. <laughs> Malo, now is not the time to cry. Go with Mario as an adventure, and you may find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. Psst, Mario. The voice magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Yeah, I mean, I need a healer. Until we get to Peach, so... You must embark on your adventure immediately. First, go to Rose Town, where they need your help. It will be quiet around here with Malo gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. That's right, I had forgotten all about it. I'll give you something for the cricket pie you brought back. I still have the staff I used when I was Malo's age. Malo gets his first weapon, the froggy stick. Alright, so we can equip... Malo with his first weapon, which brings him up to 51 attack. He's only three points behind Mario. Alright, so there's one thing that I have to look up, and it's... There's a not really mini game, but there's a thing here that we can do that we can help a composer... I'm trying to remember. Todofsky. That's the name. Like, we can help him by setting up a thing. Um, Melody Bay Solutions. There we go. Okay. I didn't think there was more than one. I thought there was... I thought there was... Only the one. I honestly did not remember that. So, the problem is, it's this is real easy for people who are musically inclined. If you are not musically inclined, like myself, um, yeah. So, it's a little difficult. So we come over here, let's, let's help Todofsky. Trying to create my next masterpiece, but I've got composer's block. Uh, no. So, let's go ahead and do this for the first time. And I believe it's that. And then that. And then all the way up. And it's actually a little more difficult to tell on this line than it did in the first game. Like, yep, I screwed it up. Yeah, I, I screwed that up. So the first two I got right. No, that's not the right... Or actually, did I, did I actually get the first... I got those two. So I got that one wrong. And... The game will apparently tell you when you've screwed it up. That's not right. Uh, I hate this. It, it is... So much harder to tell here. Because... What... The lines are, you can, I, the shadows of the lines are throwing me off in terms of where they are. Okay, so those two are right. So I'm at least good with those two. You. And then you. And then you are at the very top. And then you are 
right there on that line. So I gotta wait for you to come back. And I'm actually gonna turn around, like I'm gonna make sure you're facing the right way. And then you're gonna be in the middle there. And then you're back on the line. And I can wait for that, so that's fine. And then you're in the middle also. And then you're on the line. So let's see if I got it. I did! This is the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. Please take this as a token of my character. Got the Alto card. Until then. All right, so apparently there's two more. So, um, apparently there's, that's Frog Fuchsia Sweet 18, and then there's Mole Mountain Blues. Um, Alto card membership for the Juice Bar and Tadpole Pond gets us, we can get Froggy Drink and Elixir. And then the, uh, next one is the Tenor card, gets us a Mega Elixir, and then... The last one gets us Caracolas. Okay. Um, and then we have to rescue people in Moleville, and then we have to go to Monster Town. Okay, so, yeah, that's all we can do for now. So that's interesting. I didn't know there were... I, I It's been so long. I didn't realize there were more than... I thought there was just the one card. And then... Welcome to Frog Coy Emporium. We can buy things. So we can buy a Sleepy Bomb, Bracer, Energizer, Party Bracer, or Party Energizer. So single use or AoE for attack and defense or put people to sleep. And then the Juice Bar. So we can buy regular things here. Uh, Frog Leg Cola. Increases, recovers 80 HP. A Tadpole Cola recovers 30. And we can cover 10 of those? Let's, uh, let's... Let's get five. And then that's an alternate thing that we can use to heal in battle. Because we can carry more than the standard amount of items. So now we are going to go to Rose Way. What's the sign? The yellow tiles automatically carry you when you hop on them. You can't jump off when a tile is blue. So we hop on it. It's blue. We can't do anything. Until it turns yellow again. And hey, we got into a fight with a shy guy and an adorable little star slap. And I forgot that both of them have brand new weapons. That I need to remember what the timing is. And he's dead. 50 damage! Well done, Malo. Alright. So we got that. Alright, so that one goes there. So we got a mushroom, which healed us. And then... Fire Flower, which gives us more FP. And that's not where I want to go, because there's still more stuff here. But that's it. There's there's a coin up there, huh? Oh, so I can I can still jump on it. Okay, so let's do that. And that'll take us over that way. Which way do we want to go? Um, it doesn't really tell us. So, okay. Wonderful guide. Let's, uh, let's go over this way and see what's over here. Uh, there's some shy guys. And a treasure chest. So let's, uh, let's beat the crap out of some shy guys. Let's use a toad assist. 
We got an egg. What's the egg do? Eggshell. Defense up! Resist one enemy attack. I think that just goes for whoever has the lowest HP. I, I am really having a hard time with that shy guy's attack prompt. I think I got that? No, I didn't, because I'm not getting a chain. That's somewhat frustrating. Hey, he can recover. Hey, he just <laughs> look at his little dance. Do a little dance, starfish. Okay. So we killed one. We got one more to kill. Let's kill him. I, I do remember hating this with a bit of a passion. Especially when dealing with isometric. Oh, hey, there was a thief there who just ran away. All right, got that. Got that. And he's putting Doom Reverb on me. That sucks, and I can't cast special attacks. Not that I was going to use too many special attacks. Lullaby. Who are you putting to sleep? Well, Malo went to sleep, and that's fine, because the battle's over. Alright, so we got both of them off, and now it just comes to, can I actually do this. I, I think I gotta... And now that I'm trying to actually land to where I can slow one down. Alright, let's do this. Let's... Let's... Come on. And now I've got them completely... <sighs> out of sync. This is just as annoying as it was in 1996. <laughs> I... Oh, there we go. And all that for a frog coin. Really? Sure. All right, so now I think we go this way, but there's two coins over there, which makes me think I missed something. So I'm gonna go and see if I did, you know, I, I don't think I did. I think I've got everything I can get here. Like I'm pretty sure this only goes here. That only goes there. You go there there and you just go back so yeah that's I, I think I've got what I can do here I'll go over here go over here let it do its thing again flying starfish that I get into a fight with and there are snapdragons that are also flying I am just not doing well with Mario's new timing pollen nap all right, so these guys have a lot of sleep. All right, well, at least I'm able to get that chain. There we go. Lots of dead people. Once again, which means Malo's just gonna beat him with a stick. And then promptly go to sleep. I'm glad I bought more healing items, because holy crap, I'm going to need them. And Mario levels up! What level am I? A six. That is an attack level. Mario learns super jump. 
Yes, level six is a hammer. So, there we go. Let's go see what we're doing over here. Hey, it's a bandit. And he immediately runs away. Uh, let's... All right. I'm, I know I'm not going to do well with this. I, I missed it right off the bat. So super jump is something that we can do and that we will want to do as the game progresses because there is a thing. What the hell? I'm, I know I pressed A that time. Maybe I need to press Y. Um, I thought it was pressing A though. Let's let's try this again. I, I'm I'm gonna burn through all of my FP. So yeah, we can do this a hundred times, and you're gonna want to do this a hundred times to get some stuff in the game. But look at 183 damage. It's difficult, but it's doable. In fact, you know, a lot of people used, uh, you know, Game Genies back in the day. You know, stuff like that. He's just going to keep lowering Shy Guys down. Hey, look, another thief who's going to run away instantly. And a special Snapdragon that I cannot super jump because I don't have enough FP. So... We are just going to beat the crap out of him to the best of our abilities. And see... Hey, we got a gauge up. Let's do a toad assist. And we got a mushroom. Power mushroom. Thanks. Attack up. And hey, I, did, I got two perfect uh, on that. That's wonderful. All right, my attack up didn't seem to do too much. All right, pollen nap. Mario's going to go to sleep. Let's take one of them out. And a frog coin. You should hopefully be dead very quickly. Yep, there we go. Dead. Alright, so... We have not fought any of those thieves. And hey, look! We've got... Uh, no. Go, go, go back, go back. We're gonna go back. Yes, we're going back. We're gonna go back on this one. Just gonna go over here. And we're gonna go over here. And then, here we go. Here we go! Get it? It's a Mario joke. Um, okay, that's fun. You're gonna die. I probably should have attacked the star. That, that is really something I'm gonna have to get used to, is, you know, switching attack targets for the AoE. That is... That is going to be a, a weird one. And we're going to attack you. And we just start with a Doom Reverb on the person who could still cast an AoE. Oh, hey. I did just get... All of our FP back by getting a Mushroom. And so I'm just going to straight up kill this guy because I don't want him to be alive anymore at all. 
249. Look at Malo as he silent looks so... He's like, I'm not happy about this. Look at my face. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know why it's, it's entertaining me so much. Okay, you can't... That's... We, he's already silenced. You can't, you know, double silence him. It doesn't work that way. Now I really want to see if he has just a normal looking face when he doesn't have a status effect on in battle. And so we'll get into another fight because we got another we've got more. We we've got a bunch of these guys. And hey, he didn't leave. Um we're going to super jump him so that he uh he dies. Because we want him to die so that we can get whatever spoils from him. There we go. Yeah, see, look, he's got a happy face. Look at that. <laughs> All right, Thunderbolt. And that does not do a lot of damage against them. So we're not going to be doing that again. Yeah, I should have changed targets. But I'm getting better at blocking their attacks. And we've got that. And I think Malo levels up. Yes, what level is Malo? Malo's level 6, which is an attack. Physical attack. Alright, let's go ahead and get into that fight. He's just going to run away. We're going to do a toad assist. And we're going to get flower points? Flower essence. Yeah. And attack up. So, I can keep doing, uh, I mean, I can keep doing super jump, apparently. Ow. Okay, I do need to use an item. And now, I've heard a lot of people say that you can do items with timed... They're like, they're, that's a huge, huge discussion in, uh, basically, the internet. of like, Oh, I do timed, timed hits with the items, and I get freebies all the time. And I've seen people like, we've looked into the game's code. That doesn't exist. And people that just swear up and down that it happens. I'm like, maybe you're noticing some sort of, like, statistical bias... But, like, as far as I can tell, that's, uh, that's not in the game's code. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, and we will finish this little section up in the next installment, and continue on Rose Way. So till then, later everyone.